Hello, Charles. Any luck finding our mystery woman? Word is she's been stirring up trouble just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Well, then that's where we'll begin our search. I'll meet you there. Have you found her? Uh, she's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. I am afraid I have some bad news, sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close. Bollocks. The tracks are fresh. It must be hers. Hmm. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees. to Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious. I can handle things from here. But, sir! But nothing! Go! Uh, Stop running! 
I only wish to talk. I am not your enemy. Please just hear me out. God's woman, only let me speak. Enough with these games. Are you touched in the head? Me? Hatham. I come in peace. Why are you speaking so slow? <sighs> Sorry. What do you want? Well, your name, for one. I'm Gadzi Zio. Oh, pleased to meet you. God, God's day. Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. Dear. Now tell me why it is you're here. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Where? Well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look, I am not the enemy. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak the truth. <laughs> 